Hey baby dolls, it's me Monique and welcome to my boutique. And so right here is my new little candle. See that right there? The Jolly Rancher Pink Lemonade Jaw. It smells so good. I got it at Kmart a couple days ago. And uh, check that video out. I kind of take you guys shopping with me. And that's one of the things that I did find and it smells so, so good. Um, this is my journal, my weight loss journal, uh, weight loss journey journal. And I've got good news. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I went on vacation, as you guys know. And I was free, honey. I was liberated in reference to eating. I ate whatever it is I wanted. Why? Because I was on vacation. And so, according to this journal, I gained eight, eight pounds. Yes, cognac. Can you believe it? Eight pounds. So... I wasn't worried about it, not too worried. I was I was a little concerned because you know you think, God, you've put in all that effort to lose the weight. It's a struggle sometimes. For some it's not a struggle, but for me it's a struggle to lose weight. I gotta put in some effort. And so I gained eight pounds on vacation, just keeping it real. So last week, starting Monday, I got right back on the saddle and started, you know, eating right, eating better. Uh, taking baby steps, drinking more water, eating more vegetables, eating lean meats, da 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 Yes, and so I lost the 8 pounds. And so I'm back to where I was pre prior to my vacation, so that's good. So basically the month of June for me is I have basically stayed the same. So... Um, I'm back to where I was uh, June 1st, and I'm okay with that. Why? Because this is a lifestyle change. And so I cannot be upset with myself for being exactly where I was 30 days ago because I had a wonderful vacation, wonderful memories, and boy, did I enjoy myself. But anyway, got all the weight back off and that I had gained, so that's good. So I rewarded myself today. Yes, I did. Um, and so, of course... Y'all know, <laughs> I had to do just a little, a little bit of damage, not much, you know, because still, you know, we're going on vacation again for my birthday in October, and so that whole thing is going to start over again. So I'm going to really, uh, in reference to shopping, kind of, you know, just kind of continue doing what I'm doing, budget shopping, you know, clearance and stuff like that, so it's okay. And so now it's kind of time to kind of start planning on what am I going to wear on vacation again in October for my birthday, which ironically, not ironically, but coincidentally is October 18th. It's on a Friday this year. And so um, I said all that to say, what? I'm just rambling, right? I know y'all are like, you know what? Show us what you got. Okay, I will. I will. But hold on. Okay, so. We got that taken care of in reference to the weight loss. We were back to where we were before. Um, I still have a goal of losing, let's see, this year. So I'm talking July through December. I must lose. What would that be? Mm, I'm going to say... It would be nice to lose 30 pounds, but who knows. I must lose 20 pounds. 20 pounds for the rest of this year, and I will be doing just fine. I went to the doctor several months ago just to do a checkup and things, and I was, you know, letting him know that I was pretty frustrated with having plateaued um, a couple months ago. And he's like, listen, Monique. He was like, do you realize, and I think I may have told y'all before, I don't know, I've told so many people but it blew me away when he told me this he was like do you realize that you have lost a full person and you've also lost what most gastric bypass uh candidates and you know those people that have had gastric bypass you have lost exactly what they have lost by doing it yourself so every day that you wake up you need to pat yourself on the back because you did it yourself and I thanked him but then I thought to myself no I did not do it myself because Monique did not have that ability 
to do it herself. God, and that's why I'm a living testimony, that if you ask him for real, seriously, genuinely to help you, he will help you and it will not be a smooth sailing situation, but the weight will come off. And so, again, ask him to help you through this and he will. He did it for me and he will do it for you. All right, y'all, I don't really have a whole lot of time to record this, but let's go ahead and see. We'll go ahead and try. I have a little bit of juice left. Okay, so I said all of that to say I rewarded myself today, and it was fun. So the first store that I went to was Ross, and as you see, I've got some swatches on my hand. I'm going to show you that too, but I went to Ross. And I went there to return something, but of course I had to be nosy and see what they had. And just really quickly, um, I went over to the purse area because I've been looking for a particular purse. And lo and behold, it was there. Okay, a hippie purse in her full glory. Long strap. And just the color that I wanted. Beautiful. There's that. Okay, faux leather, $15.99. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So again, this is going to be fabulous for those boho chic tops that I got last week that I kept saying boho chic, boho chic. Well, yeah, I needed a purse to rock with my boho chic look. And so here we go, $15.99. All right. Then I went to... Y'all, I went to two City Trends today. So here is the bag, and I found two things. Now, this is something that I normally would have bypassed, but I'm like, you know what? It's getting ready to be fall, and you need some cute little loafers. And so I found these. Cute loafers, right? I like it, obviously. They had the plain loafers without the studs, but I wanted the studs, and these little things are sharp, too. That's the stud detailing. So cute for the boho chic look. So there's that, right? And look at what matches. They both match. Close enough. So that is cute. These were 15 bucks. All right. And then I was just moseying around, and not that I really wanted a swimsuit, but they had this cute little swimsuit, which is a jumper set halter. Cute, right? And it's made out of terry cloth, and I love the little design on it, tapestry, cute little tie thing here, the gold detailing. And this is Apple Bottoms. And I paid $5 for it. And it was normally $52. Right? So that was cute, right? $5. Yes. All right. This video in the boutique would not be a video in the boutique without my coffee. Oh, gosh. Mmm. So good. All right. Um, then I went to my local beauty supply store that I just love. And this particular store only sells this particular ponytail. It's the human hair ponytail. Wet and wavy. And I'm telling you, it is so beautiful. Um, the texture is just, it's human hair. Wet and wavy is so, so summery. And so, this is not really what she looks like. I mean, it's just like, it's like Brazilian waves. It's just like so beautiful. And so, yeah, I always get these. This was $13.99. All right. And then I went over to the makeup section, obviously. And I got one of these little thingies to do my eyebrows with. Today, I plucked them. 
Okay, now this obviously is not mine, but I plucked up in here. All right, but I normally like to use this, but plucking is definitely more precise. All right, and anyway, they have these new lipsticks, and they put the security thing over it, and so it made the um, container sticky. But they are called J Cat Fantabulous Lipsticks, and they reminded me so much of uh, NYX. This one is called Shiny Shiny Rose. Is it? Right here, shiny rose. And this is shiny rose right here. All right, the next one is called Rust. And again, little package. And this is the NYX package. And so they were totally, this is NYX. They were totally copying their style. They did a really good job with that. And the texture with these are very matte um, and very opaque. And so I think they're going to be great. So this is Rust right here. Really pretty, right? And there's no smell, which is good. Okay, and this last one is called Grapes. This is Grapes right here. So grapes and this pink one look very similar, but this one is more purple. All right, and then, like I said, they put the security thing around it so it's real sticky. So I'll have to take some alcohol and um, clean those up because, yeah, that's going to get on my nerves. All right. City Trends again. When I found these... I was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I have been wanting these pants. I mean, when you see them, it's kind of hard to really explain what they are because they've got a lot of different little things going on. But they're created by the Trey Songs designer. They had wanted $25 for them, and I almost got them a few months ago, but I was like, no, just prayerfully they will go down. And oh my gosh, had I not went in today, this was the last pair left. Had I not went in today, they would have been gone. Um, this is obviously Trey Songs. Okay. And as you see, it was $5. Normally these were $59. And this is what they look like. Okay, I'll show you the booty part first. The butt part <laughs> has the little wings. I guess that's his thing right there, right? And then, this is the front. It's got this leather stripping, these cute bedazzlements. Okay, and then, what is this? Whatever this material is, is like so phenomenal. And then it's got this leather strip going all the way down the leg, so it's like they're tights, right? Or no, they're more like leggings. And at the top part here is a little looser fitting. Here they are. They are so cute on, too. $5, y'all. $5. I was like, thank you. I was so happy to get these. They're so cute. Okay. So, $5. Trey Song, City Trends. I'm telling y'all, that is, like, one of my favorite stores. Okay. And then, I've been wanting these. And these were on clearance for $3. And these are some skinny... Skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, y'all. For $3. They look so cute on. And so, yeah, I'm getting, like, fall stuff right now, too. So, I think these are going to Vegas with me. All right. Um, and then I went to Payless. Payless has a fabulous sale going on. Buy one, get the other pair half off. I lucked up on these Christian Serianos. With a name like Christian Seriano, you know they have to be fly, right? They are. Alright, hold on. These are so cute. Check these out. Are those not fabulous? So... 
boho, so like Caribbean and just, I love it. I love the gold detailing here. I love the brown against my brown complexion. <sighs> These give me love, okay? They probably don't look like much right now, but I'm telling you, on your foot, they are so cute. These are, were normally $29.99. And um, I got them in a size 12. They're a little bit too big because I really wear an 11. And those other shoes that I showed you, um, these right here, these are a 10. And they fit. So it just depends on the shoe. Um, but anyway, so these were normally $30. And I got them on clearance for $12. Alright, so then buy one, get the other half off, right? Dang, Cognac, what are you doing, dude? My dog just like had a seizure over here. He didn't. This box scared him. Dang, sit down, boy. Okay, so then I got the other pair. I'm sorry, y'all. That was so rude, Coney. It's so loud up in my video. And so then I got these other shoes half off. And they were normally $20. And I got them on clearance for $7. But then they were half off. So this is what they look like. They're basically some gladiators. All right. And that's those. Uh, so yeah, y'all, that is really it. What did you get this weekend? I know some of my girls went to the store. And uh, I would love for you to make a video and show me what you bought. And this is just like so fun, you know, taking videos, going into stores and showing each other what we got. It's like we're, we're shopping together. It's so fun. It's just awesome being a girly girl, right? But anyway, um, let me let y'all go. Remember, I'm going to maybe what I can do is um, leave it open for you guys to attach your shopping video to this video. Let me check that out and see if we can do that. Um, and yeah, that'll be it, y'all. Remember that pretty is as pretty does. And I will see you and you. Oh, and you in the next video. Bye-bye.